So you might be wondering exactly how to go ahead and set up an assistive access on iOS 17, aka the simple mode on iOS 17. Now doing this is actually very, very basic and it really doesn't take too much time. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over to your specific settings of your iOS 17 iPhone. So make sure you're on iOS 17 to do this. And what you want to do is you want to go and click on the search bar up here. And all you're going to want to do is type in assistive. So you can just type in assist and usually it should already come up. And right here, you will see assistive access. All you're going to want to do is tap on assistive access right there, and you will come into this specific panel. Now, all you're going to want to do here, and it is very, very basic, you're going to want to click on the setup assistive access button. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on setup assistive access just like this. And it's going to tell you right here, assistive access provides an alternative iOS experience. Essential apps have been redesigned to be larger, so on and so forth. So now what you want to do is you want to click on continue and it's going to show you whatever this specific thing is. And all you're going, going to want to do here is click on continue and it's going to show you two different experiences. You can either have rows or you can have grids. In this case, we'll just have rows just like this. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to click on continue. So now you can choose the application that you want to go ahead and add. This is a very big deal. So choose specifically which applications you want to go ahead and add. You can add whichever applications you want and whenever you're ready, all you want to do is we'll just choose whichever ones we have here. So we'll do, we'll just enable the photo library. Okay, whatever. We'll do music. I don't know why we have to click continue. It should just be added. Then we'll have camera. Okay, and then we'll have calls. So now when we're done, we can click continue. Then it says things to know, emergency. If you want to triple click whatever, okay, click continue. Notifications, click continue. And then volume buttons. Just make sure you're reading this because I'm going kind of fast with it. Time and battery. You can show the battery indicator, which is something that's important. And then it says continue, you can click continue and you're going to have to set up an assistive access code. So just type in the code that you, whatever you're going to use and you can go and type in an email if you want. I'll just click okay, I don't want to do it. And that is it. Now you can enter assistive access now by typing in the code right here. And then you will basically enable assistive access and may take a few seconds here and there. And then after that, you should see that, <laughs> we'll give it a few seconds. We are now on assistive access. So this is basically what it looks like. You can go ahead and power off your phone. It's a normal phone as you normally would. You can tap right here. You can swipe or you can tap again and then click open. I guess that's how it works. But that is basically it. If you to want. get out of this, I think you just tr triple click the side button right here. And then you click the, you type in that, basically the codes right here. And then it will exit out of assistive access. So that is basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.